I heard you want to get in shape. Let's talk about that. All right, so hey guys, just a quick change of plan, okay? Very busy. We are moving in a couple of weeks or months. Uh, actually, two months. We are moving in two months. And um, so yeah, my schedule is just <laughs> insanity. I started painting the house today, so I painted the walls and the roof. And I just, yeah, I'm tired as hell. I'm really excited for this. Uh, for this video because it's something very near to me. I really um, want to encourage people to look after their health and their fitness and um, I just really want people to be happy with themselves. Okay, so I know I said that I'm really tired and I really really want to sleep but uh, for some reason I just had the urge to make a piano cover before I go to sleep. So I quickly made an arrangement of Rover Flows and You and uh, I made the recording it's edited, it's on YouTube, go watch it. I'm actually really proud of that one. I don't know where I found the energy, <laughs> but for some reason I am I did. So yeah, but, but I'm so tired now. So um, yeah, I'm gonna sleep now and I'll see you guys tomorrow. So good night. Everything I say in this video is my opinion and my opinion only. You are probably going to disagree, but that's fine because you have your opinion, I have my opinion, and that's beautiful. Why am I making this video? At one stage in my life, I was very unhealthy. I was obese, I was almost a diabetic, and I am healthy now, and I know what it takes, and I want to share that with you. I know what it takes to change our toxic lifestyle and become healthy and happy with ourselves. I want you to ask yourself, why do you want to get in shape? What is your motivation? Let's just get one thing straight. If you want to get in shape to impress other people for the for only that reason, to impress other people, then you're already lost. You will never be satisfied. You will never be happy with your life. And that is a very important skill. I think you must learn very early in life and that that is not to put your happiness on other people. Don't rely on other people to make you happy. Never give other people the power to control your happiness. I think that's just stupid and that's pointless. So allow me to tell you what being in shape uh, means to me personally. For me it doesn't mean you know having this huge arms or the six pack or whatever. For me being in shape simply means to be healthy and to be happy with your health. If your goal is to get in shape, then I think health should be your number one priority. And that is surprisingly not just my opinion. I want you to take a look at two people. Uh, take a look at Grant Cardone and Dan Locke. Both billionaires, very successful entrepreneurs. And they, they both know the importance of your health. Especially Mr. Dan Locke. He... In one of his videos, he said that uh, someone asked him, you know, how to be successful or, or whatever. And he said, the number one thing is your health. Because without your health, you are nothing. Alright, so what is the first step to live a healthy lifestyle? Let me just say, having a gym membership and living a bad lifestyle is still a bad lifestyle. Okay? And understand this, okay? Your physique is a literal representation of your lifestyle. If you have a bad lifestyle, you are going to have a bad physique and vice versa, a good lifestyle, then you are going to represent that. So when you are overweight, people are normally going to make the assumption, oh, this, this guy has a bad lifestyle. Like you don't make your bed, you eat junk food and you are probably not going to change the world. Like the famous Mac Raven said, or Sir Mac Raven, if you want to change the world, maybe start by making your bed. And then again, I'm not talking about people with health issues, people that are obese because of their health. Um, that literally can't help it. Um, I'm talking about people like like me that was obese because um, just of bad habits and bad choices. I was living a bad lifestyle. Now I want you to look at it at the other way, okay? So if you have a good physique then people will normally assume oh so this guy has he is living a good lifestyle all right he probably makes his bed and he is probably going to change the world your physique is really a representation of 
of your choices and your lifestyle and when you have a good lifestyle you know if you have your values down <laughs> you make your bed I know that's a stupid example but it starts with that so we all know that people are attracted to happiness okay so if you have a good lifestyle then you are probably going to attract people with similar values people that also want to be successful in life people that also want to live a good lifestyle now another fundamental of living a healthy lifestyle comes down to not putting your happiness on other people that's really 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 important so a man with a good lifestyle is never entitled he never thinks the world owes him anything he respects his parents, he respects any kind of authority and he regards the feelings of his peers above his own. Now why do I say that? Because if you think you are having a bad day, the chances are the person you are telling that is also having a bad day and he's probably having it two times worse. The grass always seems greener on the other side always i want you for a moment to think of your idol all right think of someone you really admire okay so just a quick time out <laughs> i just finished painting one of the rooms so i had to stop the recording so that explains the paint <laughs> on my fingers look at that uh, and on my shoulder look at that <sighs> okay so where was i oh yeah the idol so i want you to think of your idol all right I promise you, this person that you are thinking of, one day in their life, they also sit and thought, wow, I wish my life could be like that guy. Or everybody wants to be like somebody else. That's human nature. So learn to be happy with yourself. Being in shape is not about me telling you to do 20 push-ups like this and like that. All right? No, it's not about that. It's being healthy being in shape is to be healthy all right and to be healthy is a mind game all right it's about food it's about choices it's about your habits it's it's about you being happy with yourself so like i said in the beginning i there was a time where i was obese i was seriously overweight i was almost diabetic and I'm happy to say that I'm now where I want to be. I'm happy with my health. I'm, the only reason I'm happy with my appearance, my physique, is because I don't really care <laughs> what other people think. Because when I was overweight, okay, I thought when I, if I get the physique I always wanted, I then then life would be amazing. I would have have good friends and people would care about me. And as a matter of fact nothing changed okay so so i have the physique i want now but nothing really changed you know it's it's weird but i just want to add something i've never been to a gym once all right <laughs> never in my life i've never been in a gym before i don't know the gym culture gym people i always see like these big dudes walking in and out of the gym and I'm like yeah. <laughs> I think that goes to show that my theory of you know your choices and your habits and food is very important to be healthy and to get in shape it's not the gym membership it's your lifestyle okay so let's talk about food oh the glorious food I'm not going to tell you the obvious things like don't drink soda don't eat ice cream you know all these sugary garbage all right because you already know that or at least you are supposed to know that <laughs> and another rule of food is to never starve yourself all right people think oh if i want to use weight i shouldn't eat in the morning and i should starve myself and and this and that and that's not true okay if you are hungry eat okay <laughs> your body is trying to tell you something remember the goal here is to be healthy and what happens if you starve yourself is you are going to get so hungry that you are going to calorie bomb sooner or later calorie bomb is when you get so hungry that you just eat everything you want and then you are going to be miserable and it's just not worth it all right so eat breakfast eat in the morning and if you're hungry eat small all right never starve yourself because you are going to calorie bomb and that's not fun at all trust me okay so i just want to add something else to food all right i want you to ask yourself what makes you forget 
to eat all right this is very important i want you to get busy get so busy that you don't have time to think about taking food and putting it into your mouth okay figure out your passions you know what what motivates you if you are doing homework and you get you know tired and bored don't don't go eat all right play maybe play the piano okay or play a video game whatever it is just don't go eat all right that's that's actually a habit don't get into the habit of eating when you're bored or tired all right so on the topic of habits i think uh habits is is what ultimately transforms you as a person um, your habits will determine if you're successful or unsuccessful right if you're fat or skinny or uh, happy or sad that that comes down to your habits habits are extremely powerful never ne ever underestimate the power of habits and if you are watching this video then you probably have a few bad habits that you need to drop right now for example uh, we all have 24 hours in a day right you or, or you me <laughs> the billionaires all right we all have 24 hours in a day so what's the difference uh, the answer may seem complicated but it's not it comes down to habits they they got into the habit of doing the things that made them successful all right so i obviously can't tell you what the <laughs> you know the habits are of uh, the billionaires and the successful people i don't know the habits of bill gates but i'm going to tell you my habits and i think they served me really well and um, yeah i want to share them with you so this is my first habit okay so when you are tired or you you notice that you are getting a bit stagnated all right what you do is you need to exercise all right so let me tell when you are doing homework all right or in my case if i'm practicing piano all right so i'll be practicing piano and you start to get like drowsy and tired and we call that you get stagnated all right so what happens is your blood flow to your brain uh, gets reduced and there's not as much oxygen in your brain so the solution obviously is to get more oxygen into your brain okay to increase your blood flow and the best way to do that or let me say a healthier habit to have is to exercise so if you're doing homework or practicing your instrument and you're starting to get stagnated I do I just drop and do and do any exercise I want to you can do I normally do, do just like 20 push-ups or if I want to I um, do a few crunches you know any exercise that will get your blood flowing and uh, put some oxygen into your brain it sounds stupid but if you get into that habit it's extremely powerful and when you continue you're going to realize you have new energy and you feel refreshed and you can focus that's a very good habit to have and my second habit which is probably the most you know obvious habit is to get into the habit of exercising each day so go for a bike ride for a few minutes or a jog for 20 minutes you know it might seem insignificant that, uh, that calories you burn in 20 minutes of riding a bike or jogging but that's not what it comes down to all right it's very good for your mental health at night if you are going to sleep you're going to remember oh yeah i i uh, jogged today i exercised i did what i'm supposed to do and you're going to be happy with yourself and that's a very good habit it is good for your mental health and then the last habit i have which is probably the <laughs> the best one is um i do chin-ups uh i shower two times a day the morning and the evening all right and before i shower i do as much chin-ups as i can all right like this so that i practice my back and if I get out of the shower, then I do chin-ups like this, all right? So that, so that I practice my biceps, all right? And that habit produces extremely good results. Like, I promise you, every day you, sh you shower two times a day, uh, before and after you shower, do some chin-ups like this and this, and I th that produced very good results. I, I lost a lot of weight doing that. and you are going to probably going to have the excuse but all right i can only do one chin up so what what now um, the thing is i said do as much as you can right so if you can only do one chin up then 
that really doesn't matter. Do one. The secret is to do that every time. Get into the habit. All right. It is the habit that will produce results over time. All right. Nothing happens overnight. All right, guys. So that's the end of this video. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed. So the reason why why I made this video is, like I said, I I've been there and I'm happy with my health now. But other than that, the people around me are so depressed and nobody seems to be happy with themselves. So like all my friends are talking about how they want to be ripped and they want to have these muscles, but they don't do anything about that and they are miserable. If I can help one person with the nonsense I said in this video, then, then I'm happy. That's everything I have to say and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.